Hi friends! Today I will tell you everything you need to know about varying rebar, how it works and how to place it out. Let's jump right into it. On the screen I have three windows open, a 3D view with a nice rebar presentation. I have created a video on how to obtain this video, link in the description. A plan view to show where sections have been taken and a section view. Close the plan view and I am left with the section view and the 3D view. Go ahead and press the structural rebar tool under the structure tab. On the right side the rebar shapes will appear. I will place a straight rebar in our section view. It's just a single rebar for now. I'm going to mark it and change the layout to spacing. Well, these rebars are not varying and don't follow the geometry of the concrete object. Let's go back to one single rebar. In the tab area we have a button called varying rebar. Press it. And then we are going to change the layout to spacing. Our straight rebar is now varying and following the slope of the wall. Even when we drag the rebars out, the straight rebars will adapt and stay varying to the wall. Except when we drag it past a new slope in the wall, the straight rebars will not adapt. Why? The reason is that the varying rebar set will relate to two different lines or directions. In our case, the orange and the green appear when a new direction in the construction appears. The red line indicates that the varying rebar set is not able to change and will still follow the orange and green lines. I will show you the workaround later. Let's learn how to place U-shaped rebar that will follow the slope of the wall. Again, I will be utilizing the section view to place out a single rebar. I change the A and C parameters manually to 400 mm and hit apply. I also change the bar diameter from 12 to 10. I select the U-shaped rebar and change the spacing before pressing the varying rebar button. That did not work as intended where the rebars are following the sharp slope. As indicated, this is not the result we desired. Go back and press the varying rebar before changing the spacing. And now the U-shaped rebars follow the top of the wall in a beautiful manner. Can drag it so it will cover the entirety of the wall. Select the rebar set, zoom in and at the end you can see the shape handles. Grab it and drag it out all the way to the top of the wall. Pretty nice. Next up I will do the same for the foundation that has a varying cross section. Once again I am standing in in section view when pressing the rebar tool. I place the U-shaped rebar in the foundation. Just a single one. I press the varying rebar tool when the rebar is selected and the spacing. Can drag it out and the rebar will yeah, adapt to the geometry and the U-shaped rebar gets a varying B parameter. The A and C parameters are changeable since they are not varying. When rotating the view you can see that the rebar follows the shape of the concrete geometry very nicely. So step by step to create a varying rebar set. Create a section. Place the rebar. Check the varying rebar tool and then change the layout. Let's give one more example for the foundation just to anchor the method being used. Adjust the parameters real quick. We are standing in a section. Place the U-shaped rebar. Quickly change the bar diameter to 10 and the A and C parameters to 200 mm. Check the varying rebar tool before editing the layout to spacing. The U-shaped rebar set will follow the edge of the foundation and in this case all the parameters A, B and C are the same. Alright, back to the problem we first encountered. To solve it, we need to move the section so it lies within the area where we would like to add varying rebar sets. The two lines that will dictate the rebar set are within the section and are the orange and green lines. Add one single straight rebar. Hit the varying rebar tool and change the layout. The straight rebar now relates to the two directions that lie within the section taken. Just do some small adjustments. So 
Here we have a 3D view and an elevation of that wall. I will once again place a U-shaped rebar in the elevation view. Be sure to check parallel to cover tool in under the placement orientation tab when placing rebars in elevation or plan view. Rotate it 180 degrees and change the parameters. Continue to edit the layout without pressing the varying rebar tool. The rebar set will of course not follow the top slope of the wall. I will take a look at another way to make the rebar set vary. Select the set and hit the varying rebar tool. Nothing happened, but now I will use the edit constraints tool. I select the top line for the rebar set and then the top wall line. The rebar set is aligned with the top of the wall, making U-shaped rebars vary. Hit finish. Yes, beautiful. And now it is also possible to toggle between varying rebar sets or not. Let's just do one more to show it one last time. Place it out in a section view. Select the rebar. Change the bar diameter to 10 millimeters so it has a different color than the rest. Check the varying rebar tool and edit the layout to maximum spacing. Change the spacing from 100 to 200. All right, enough of placing out varying rebar sets. Let's take a look at the numbering. Each rebar in the varying rebar set has an individual rebar number. This can be changed under reinforcement settings. But first, let's create a rebar schedule to highlight the differences. Right click on the schedules. Find the structural rebar category and add a couple of parameters, including the rebar number and rebar number suffix. The list of rebars in our schedule is quite long since all individual rebars in the varying rebar sets get one row. Quickly organize the list. A nice feature and thing to know is that when selecting one of the rebar rows in the schedule, that rebar will be highlighted in all views you have open. Just like that, when marking one row, one of the individual rebars in the varying rebar set turns blue. This is of great help when you want to orient yourself or find a specific rebar when you know the rebar number. Open up the reinforcement settings dialog and change the varying rebar set from numbers bars individually to numbers bars as a whole. The consequence of this change is that every rebar in a varying rebar set will have the same rebar number, but a new parameter will appear and that is the rebar number suffix. Open the reinforcement numbers and remove gaps in the rebar numbers sequence. The numbering is now chronological, starting from 1. The absolute last task in this video is adding varying U-shaped rebars to the vertical slope in the wall. The view we are in is a vertical section through the wall. Add U-shape and change the parameters. The red line represents the section view I just placed the U-shaped rebar in. Change the layout to spacing and type in 200 mm. Then go to the election view, hit the varying rebar tool and then edit the constraints. This can also be solved by pressing the varying rebar tool before changing the layout. And that concludes this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe for more fun videos.